Laura Kelly here from Me and My Inklings blog, and I am going to share with you some of DecoArt's new products, some of their older products that are amazing that I love, and some of the things that you can do with them. So I'm going to start with this glow-in-the-dark product up here. These are black light neons. It's not really like glow-in-the-dark, glow-in-the-dark, but they work great with a black light, and they are amazing. It's kind of like a flashback to the 80s to me. They come in six different colors, and they are bright, vivid, and super fun. I actually brought a black light, so I am going to have my friends back there flip off the lights just so you can get an idea of how these work with the black light, because it's pretty awesome and amazing what you could do for a party or decoration with the black light. So pretty fun stuff there. All right, they can flip the lights back on, which would be awesome. And I want to talk a little bit about this as well. This is the ultimate glow in the dark. And it can be mixed with different colors of paint, either the Americana or the multi-surface, and painted onto lots of different surfaces to create things that glow in the dark. So that is super fun for not just Halloween, but all the time if you like things to glow in the dark. I love these little figurines. Talking about figurines, I'm going to show you another thing you can do if you want to create little decorations or knickknacks or gifts for people. You can color pour. So this is like, I think it's a llama, maybe an alpaca, maybe like a, I don't know, but it's been color poured. It was a ceramic image or a ceramic um, figurine. This one was a plastic zebra that has been color poured. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. So these two pieces right here have already been painted with a base coat of the multi-surface um, paint. So there's a lavender one and a pink one. I picked a color pack that was preset, predetermined. They come like in little packs of four, already decided for pouring. If you don't want to try to select your own colors, either way, we're going to use these today. So color pouring is really fun and really simple, and we're going to do it. You need a couple things. You need a baking pan or like one of these tin foil catch-all pans. You could also use a rubber tub or a, anything that would, would keep your paint from going all over the place. You also need gloves. Gloves are super important. You're going to need a big cup, a little cup for each of your colors, and a stirring stick for each of your colors. So let's do it. I am going to put my four cups right out here. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to shake my paint. And I'm going to put about an inch of paint in each one of my cups, maybe about two inches. There we go. There we've got our green. This is actually a chartreuse. And here we've got a coastal waters, which is kind of a pretty fun, kind of a light blue, almost looks like a robin's egg to me. And then we're going to get our yellow. And finally, our pink. These uh, multi-surface paints also have, you can open them from the top and squeeze just a little bit at a time. I'm taking the whole cap off just because I'm getting a lot of paint out. So the great thing about the pouring is that you only really need two ingredients to get the paint ready to be poured. The second ingredient after the paint is this pouring medium. It comes in these smaller bottles that are eight ounces. It also comes in larger bottles that are 16 ounces. And I'm just going to use this one. You want to pour an equal amount of your pouring medium to the amount of paint that you use. So if you were using a lot of paint, you'd use a lot of pouring medium. I'm just going to eyeball it. You can measure if you're a measurer. I am not. There we go. We got our yellow, and then our last color is our pink. A perfect amount. And then for each one of those colors, I'm going to stir it with a different color, with a different craft stick. So I'm going to stir my green. and my blue, and then the yellow and the pink. It doesn't take much, just a couple quick stirs. And you get this, looks almost like watered, watered down paint, but, or like milky paint. So you have your four colors, and then we're gonna take our sticks out, and we can just throw them in our, in our pan, our tub, and get them out of the way. The next part is so cool. I love this next part. We're going to mix these up, but not really. We're going to kind of mix them up. So we're going to pour them. I'm going to pour all of my pink in the bottom. Put that in my pan. 
and then I'm going to slowly add my yellow because I want it to just go on top of the pink and not mix in. I'm going to turn my cup a little bit and do my blue. You can see how like it's layering in the cup. It's so cool. And then the green on the top. It almost looks like something you'd want to eat, like some candy or something. All right, the next thing we're going to do is put on our gloves. Or I'm going to put on my gloves. If you have gloves, you'd be putting on your gloves. Put on the gloves and get ready to pour. And we are actually pouring on these little figurines today. You can also do this on canvases, on wood, on all kinds of different surfaces. I'm going to put a plate in the bottom here just to be able to get my figurines back out easily for drying. Maybe. There we go. And then I'm going to take this amazing, beautiful, that's like art all by itself, and I'm going to pour it. I'm just going to do one at a time. That's going to be a little easier. And I'm going to pour it. I'm just going to keep pouring. I'm going to get some on this purple guy, too. See how it's getting that marbly effect as it pours? Now we're getting our last colors in there, which is going to be where it gets its really cool pour look. I'm going to go this way, too. And then you're going to let those dry. I'm going to take them when they're a little bit dry off of this plate and move them to another um, surface for the drying process and then kind of move them around a little bit just so they don't stick to the surface and the legs don't get super yucky. So I'm going to show you real quick one that I did that's rainbow. So this one's really fun. I actually did this one with seven different pores and it is on Facebook if you want to go check it out. It's a really fun project. So those are some of the things that I love that are new or some of the projects that I love with Deco Art. One other last thing I want to show you are the color trend packs. I showed you the pouring pack that came as a four in case you don't want to select your own colors. But you can also buy color trend packs. Color trend packs are great because the colors have already been selected for what kind of goes together for you. And so those are nice too and they come in the metallics and lots of different um, styles of their multi-surface paints. So hopefully you are really inspired to paint pour, to make glow-in-the-dark figurines, and to try out some new products from DecoArt.